just gonna keep it real with everyone. This is like a diary. Um, share with y'all what's been going, you know, on for um, for my last season. My last season has been like real crazy. I've had a crazy life, um, incredible life. You know, it is what it is. You know, hip hop pioneer, first of many, and um, and that's a blessing. And uh, so uh, here I am going through this new thing, and uh, you know that. I'm, I'm a big Marvel fan. I love, you know, cartoons. I love, you know, uh, uh, comic books. And one of the lines that Marvel fans that I hear know is, with great powers come great responsibilities. And uh, I remember when I was 16, 17, I'm doing radio interviews. And one of the questions the air personality would ask me is, how does it feel to be a role model? And I would say, I'm, I'm a rapper, I'm not a role model. And that's when I was like 17, you know. And when I got to be 20 something, I realized, wow, I'm a role model. And I've been a role model since I was 16. And I didn't know that, you know what I mean? So I understand who I am and uh, how I've, you know, touched people for, for decades. Like it's crazy, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to still be here because a lot of us, you know, are not. So um, me coming at everyone right now is addressing, you know, or, or acknowledging that responsibility. I am a role model. I've been a role model. Um, and that's beyond being that to my children. You know, we're all role models to our children. But um, for decades, I've been role, model to, role models to other people's children. So I'm taking on that responsibility right now and sharing with everyone what's going on with me and how it came about and all of that stuff. So um, getting right into it, um, symptoms, let's start with that. We are all at an age now, and I'm talking about the fans that's been following me for decades. We're at an age now where the vehicle is not running like it used to. We can't. Uh, um, we can't exhaust it without getting maintenance, okay? Um, there are tune-ups that we, as vehicles, have to make sure that we go and, uh, and, and conduct. Um, I did not, and a lot of us have not. And uh, the reason why is because, you know, I feel great and, you know, I get compliments on how I look great. And so I think I am great, but that's the external, all right? The internal is a totally different story. Um, a lot of men don't go and do what they should do. Colonoscopy is absolutely one. Um, prostate, you know, um, that, that test that men are like, nah, ain't no doctor going up in there. That's an exit sign only. That's a dumb way of thinking, especially if you have family that is selfish to your family. Go get yourselves checked. Um, mine wasn't a situation to where, you know, I was being all macho and not getting checked. Um, a, you know, a lot of issues exist in terms of uh, insurance. And my insurance wasn't right to go get myself properly taking care of the way I needed to. And uh, my man Jimbo, you know, good friend of mine, he helped take care of that for me. Um, one of the first signs that you will see is bleeding in the, you know, when, when you wipe, you'll, you'll see blood. If you look at it when you wipe, you know, you'll, you'll see it. That's one of the first signs. Um, I shared that with a doctor uh, a year or so ago. And what he said to me was, it could be something and it could be nothing. Uh, th then we conducted the prostate test at that time and I was good. The, see this bootleg ear pod just, just came out. <laughs> um, and so um, the bleeding subsided and little by little it started to come back again. But the fact that it would stop would make me say, you know, um, I guess I'm getting better. It 
progressed. It went from the wipe to now one sees it in the stool. And, um, or you'll see it in, you know, in your, your, your pile, <laughs> in your compilation, you know. Um, and so at that point I said, okay, I gotta take this a little seriously. And I still didn't run to the doctor, believe it or not, at that point. Um, my, uh, my, I, I wasn't producing logs anymore. Again, I'm being graphic. I'm keeping it real with y'all because I don't know if anybody ever has. So you really need to hear this. You know, this is, this is me talking to my boy. I'm talking to my peoples right now and I'm telling y'all what it is so you don't have to go through this. But I wasn't producing logs anymore. It was coming out stringy. Um, sometimes I felt like I had to, you know, like it was diarrhea that was getting ready to happen, but it wasn't diarrhea. So I'm like, you know, what was that about? And um, when it really got super scary for me and I stopped playing was one day I'm in my room. I had to pass gas. I was alone, so it was no problem. And I let one out and it came out with substance. And I was like, yo, did I just shart on me? I think I just sharted. And I, I never sharted, you know what I mean? So I run to the bathroom real quick to see what this is. And it was a bloody mucus. Like if you were to blow your nose and it had blood in it, that's what came out of me. And that's when I said, I need to stop playing and I need to go get myself checked.
my breakfast this morning. Yeah, y'all. Dr. Ice came to visit me this morning. Can't believe it. Can't believe this. My man walked in with breakfast. I'm thinking he's a nurse. And I'm looking at the face. And I see his wife. And I'm like, oh, I know her. And I was like, yeah. So I was like, yo, I thought she was a nurse. I said, yeah. I said, I thought she was a nurse. What did you say? I said, I'm a doctor. I said, I'm a doctor. He said, you're not a nurse. Yeah, exactly, I'm a doctor. <laughs> so, I had to share this with y'all, man. Um, this is what love looks like. All day long, man. All right, y'all. So, I'll hit y'all back. I'll keep y'all posted, but I had to share this. All right, bye-bye.